everyone, welcome back to my channel. Pen Squeeze Kawaii here, and today I'm gonna show you guys part two of my manga and anime collection. Before we get started on that, you guys, um, if you look, notice behind me this like Powerpuff painting. I kind of like stick it to the wall. Here, let me bring it closer. I just did this yesterday, you guys, and it took me a couple hours, but I just wanted to show you how proud I am of it and how cute it is. See it? That took me a good few hours, you guys, but I'm totally in love with it. I love the Powerpuff Girls. Comment down below, guys, if you are a fan of the Powerpuff Girls and what Powerpuff Girls is your favorite. And I also have... Do you guys remember Chowder, that old cartoon? I love it. It's like one of my childhood favorite cartoons growing up. So you got that one, Powerpuff Girls, and Chowder. And then that is just the anime drawing I just made for, for no reason at all. I just wanted to draw something animated. Gotta get my big old hand out of the way. <laughs> all right. And before we get started, I want to show you guys one more thing before I get into my part two of showing you guys my manga collection. I'm going to show you guys some drawings that I've made that I really, really like. We're going to start with Rick and Morty because I love Rick and Morty. Shout out to all my Rick and Morty fans. See, I even have, I have a lot of clothing. Rick and Morty, like Rick and Morty themes. This one is the first one. It says, ooh wee. This one's probably the funniest one. I didn't intend to cut it in a circle. I just drew it oddly on the paper. And so this is like the only way to save the picture because the whole paper was like crap. So there's the first one. And then Scary Terry. Comment down below, guys. What Rick and Morty character is your favorite? I love Scary Terry. He's my favorite. I didn't color it in yet, but to be honest, I kind of like it in black and white. What do you guys think? You guys remember this episode. The chemical taste of satisfaction. <laughs> it's funny. Simple mix. And this one I'm really proud of, guys. This one I just freehanded. I didn't think of anything. I just I just got done watching like a season of Rick and Morty <laughs> when I drew this and I just drew this freehand. It was my own idea, like, so I wanted to do something to be sentimental between him and Morty because, I don't know, this is Grandpa, of course, and this one, now this one my girlfriend made me, and I absolutely love it, she made it for me when we first started hanging out, because we're both artists, and I cherish that one forever, keep it away for safekeeping. And next is going to be The Nightmare Before Christmas. This is my um, one so far. I have many more, but I just have to dig them out of, you know, the closet and stuff. I love that one. It's super cool. I love Nightmare Before Christmas. There's a lot of stuff that I don't like. I mean, there's not a lot of stuff I don't like. <laughs> I like pretty much everything. This one is um, Alice Return to Madness. If you guys ever play that game on Xbox 360, I suggest you do because it is super fun. It is scary, but it is really fun. I think it's less scary than Granny. I just got into that game today, you guys. It's, it's pretty scary. I was so close to winning, but it's just, they kind of make it impossible for you to, unless you're on practice. <laughs> okay, this one. I'll also turn to madness. See the chest side cat? And this is supposed to be right here. This is supposed to be like a like a marble. 
kind of messed up on that part, but the Cheshire Cat. This is just a random, you know, there's going to be some random pictures I'm going to show you guys, just, just because, you know, why not? <laughs> this is one of them. I just said this is pretty cool. This is when I was learning how to contrast still. <laughs> I still need work to be honest on learning how to contrast, but I'll get there eventually. And this one. You guys know who she is? She's from, you guessed it, Fairy Tale. Yep. I like her a lot. She's pretty cool. And then since we're doing fairy tale, I'll show you the main man himself. Yeah. I love that picture. I drew that. I drew, mind you guys, I drew these like a while back ago. But I'm just showing it to you now because why not? And then this one, I kid you not, was like last year. It's supposed to be like an apocalypse picture. I don't know. Ironic? <laughs> Let's hope not. And then this one, I don't know. I just want to do something supernatural and kind of like creepy. But also, that's not going to scare, you know, anybody. I don't know. I was thinking of making like a little story. It's like a cross between like an avatar creature and like alien kind of demon thing I was trying to make. It didn't work out. That one's alright. This one's uh, based on like Harry Potter, um, the Goblet of Fire. I love that one and I was trying to draw like the goblet and stuff but I never finished coloring it or anything like that. But this is that. <laughs> See I didn't even finish uh, <laughs> coloring it in but I love it. I mean I like the design. I thought it was cool. And this one's for all the Pokemon fans out there, all the Pokemon lovers. Here you go. Squirtle. Squirtle, Squirtle. I thought he was super cute. And this is just like a random Halloween picture. It's not even that good, but. Yeah. I basically, this is like the fence to my old backyard like two years ago where I was living in a different apartment and then that's a cat and then <laughs> random stuff <laughs> and then this is from I'll show you guys right now this is her I thought it'd be fun to draw her she came out pretty good I wish I had finished her, but I'm not um, known for finishing things. <laughs> what do you guys think? Similar or not? I thought it came out pretty good. Alright guys, that goes. That's it for uh, showing you guys my pictures and stuff that I drew. And they're pretty old, but you know, it's fun to show. Show you guys my my hobbies and just like what I like and the pictures I've drew in the past. Okay. Oh, put that back. Put that book back. Alright, I'm gonna show you guys. We're gonna start off with this one. This one is called Yamada Kun and the Seven Witches. This one's an actual really good one. Uh, I'm not good at really explaining things out loud, but I will read the guy read the intro for you guys, alright? Here we go. And this is the back of it if you guys want to see it. I highly recommend this book. It's pretty good. The author is Mika Yoshikawa. <laughs> Excuse me. It's pretty good. I'll, show, I'll read it to you. It says, Swap with the Kiss. Class troublemaker Ru Yamada is already having a bad day when he stumbles down a staircase along the star student along with star student Yurari Shiryashi. When he wakes up, he realizes that he has switched bodies. They have switched bodies and that Ryu has the power to trade places with anyone just by kissing them. After figuring out 
the workings behind this new and amazing ability, Ryu and Yurari, Yurara, sorry, <laughs> Yurari, take full advantage of the situation to improve their lives. But with such an oddly amazing power, just how long will Ryu and Yurara be able to keep their secret under wraps? Yeah, it's pretty much about shape-shifting and like in high school and it's pretty fun. It's kind of like a comedy romance kind of thing. It's hilarious. I highly recommend this one, guys. Okay, next one. Now, the next one really isn't like a, a manga per se, but I, you know, it's classic. So, The Legend of Zelda, The Ocarina of Time. Love it. You guys already know what's up with that. Okay, now this one is called Akame, ya Wait. Akame Ga Kill Zero. Oh, that was a mouthful. But it's basically like a fighting anime. I haven't read it yet, but I need to. Um, my girlfriend read it, but <laughs> I don't know. It seems really good, though. I just haven't read it, so I can you know if you guys want to check it out before me hey that's cool you guys could tell me about it okay <laughs> um the artist or no the author is takahiro and art is by ki toru shout out to the art that's pretty good that's pretty good graphics don't you think this next one is basically just a manga sampler that i got from barnes and noble oh no it was in Barnes Noble. It was like a my local anime shop, and it, it was a pretty good deal. It was like five bucks, and it's like a little manga sampler, and it basically shows you different kinds of anime manga that there is out. I think this is oh 2019 edition, so it, it has B Stars, JoJo's Bizarre Adventure Part Four, Kakayure Bed and Breakfast for Spirits. Oh my gosh, guys, like. Give this video a like if you ever seen that anime. It is so good. It's on Funimation. It's on Crunchyroll. It's really good. You guys will... It's just really good. Comey can't communicate. I have my shot one. Here, My Hair Academia Smash. And Snow White with Red Hair. I did watch that one. It's super good, you guys. I definitely check, check out some of these that I've... V stars. To be honest, I don't like. I couldn't get into that one, just because. <laughs> Think of Zootopia, but with like graphic murder and <laughs> with like the, you know just graphic bloodshed and it's just it's just weird. I don't know. I don't like it. Now this one, guys, is gender bender. I don't know if you guys like this kind of stuff, but. I'm guilty because I do. <laughs> Don't judge. <laughs> but this one's called Transparent Light Blue. And it is a saucy book. I'm not going to tell you anymore. But it's super good. And I will just read you the back because it's not bad. It says, Too Close for Comfort. Read Sue is this girl. Is willing to do anything for her best friend Ichika. Ichika, yeah, I said that right. Including the intimate act of cleaning her ears. But when Ichika starts dating a boy, Ritsu realizes that she wants to be more than friends. Will Ichika push her away when Ritsu reveals her innermost feelings? That's all I'm gonna say. <laughs> and this one, guys, is called Loveless. It's also a gender bend, but it's, um, you know, I'll just read you guys the intro. <laughs> it says, Loveless. When 12 year old Ritsuka discovers a posthumous message hmm, from his brother Timi indicating he was murdered, he becomes involved in a shadowy world of spell battles and secret names. Together with the mysterious Sobi, the search of to find Shimi's killer and uncover the truth begins. But in a world where mere words have unbelievable power, how can you find true friendship and happiness when your very name is Loveless? This one guy is pretty good. I mean, it's alright to me. It's fantasy manga. It's from Tokyo Pop and the author's name Yun K 
Kuga. It's pretty good, but I've had better animes that I've read, you know? It's just not my thing, kind of. Now this one, I think everybody in the whole entire world has heard about this one. This one is ReZero, Rim and Ram. Comment down below, guys, or even just give this video a thumbs up. Which one's your favorite, Rim or Ram? I absolutely, lutely, lutely love ReZero. You guys pretty much know what that is about, but. It's kind of weird though, that my collection right now, because this is like, you know, the pictures and stuff in it. And this one is like all chapters. There's nothing wrong with chapter books, but I like to visually see the pictures. So, I mean, it was still fun to read, but I prefer looking at like the actions and the, just what's going on, not just like, you know, the words. <laughs> okay, guys. Next one is Vampire Doll. Now, this is from Tokyo Pop as well, and it is super good. It's like horror comedy, and it's it's pretty good. I'll tell you guys what it's about. Just give you a glimpse. This is the cover of the first chapter, and she's a doll, you guys. You're like, duh, it says it on the title, Penny. <laughs> Okay, here we go. I'll read the intro for you guys. Gilt Mazan is a, that's a weird name, Gilt Mazan, is a vampire aristocrat who has been sealed into a cross for more than 100 years. When he is released by Kijo, yeah, Kijo, a powerful exorcist from the family that first banished the vampire Gilt Mazan is resurrected as a female doll and can only transform into his real figure when he sucks blood from Kiyo's sister Tone. But this undead tale has a gender-bending twist, and when you add some goth clothes on, on some hot, even hotter vampires, slowly but surely everyone will start to feel like one big happy family. <laughs> oh my gosh, guys, it's been a quick minute since I've read this book. It's been a while. It's been a couple years, I'm not going to lie to you guys. But, um, it's hilarious. I forgot about all that. <laughs> You've got to read this, guys. It's super good. I'll tell you the author. It's Erica Kari. I don't know if you guys can see that. Can you see that? Yeah, I recommend this book, guys. It's so funny. Oh, my gosh. Okay. And since we're going, like, vampire route, I'll show you the next one. Um, this one's called Chibi Vampire. I'm covering up this part because my book tour, but it's super good. It's also from Tokyo Pop. Some of the best mangas, real quick, is like Sojo Beat and Tokyo Pop. Isn't that true though? Like most of the good mangas out there are Tokyo Pop or Sojo Beat. They have some good stuff. But I really like this one. And anyways, guys, it's super good. And I think the author's name's Toru Kai and Yuna. Kagesaki. Super good. And I'll just read you the intro of it for those of you have not who have not heard of it before. It says, Karen Maka bites throats like a proper vampire, but where others of her kind need red hot blood, she has too much of it. Every month she's compelled to inject blood into her victims the way a snake injects venom. And her handsome classmate, Kenta Yusui, makes her feel like she's going to splurt blood like a geyser. Talk about embarrassing. <laughs> when Karen's last latest victim turns out to be as rich as he is good looking, it causes hilarious chaos at her school. Will she ever live in peace? The much talked about manga is now a supernatural love comedy mystery novel starring our own favorite clumsy blood injector, Karen. You guys have to read this one. It's hilarious. It's like exciting. It's just fun. It's fun all around. Ooh, I cannot talk today. <laughs> this one is called The Gentleman's Alliance. This is chapter one, and this is the only book I have of this genre. Let's see. Arena Tanamura, a 
of course. I have a lot of books from her and she's absolutely amazing. And I'll read you guys the intro of it. I read it guys, but I just can't, I really can't get into it. I don't know why, but I get in and all the other books is, that I've read from her is really good. Just this one I don't, it's, I don't know, it's not my favorite. But I'll read it to you guys anyways. In return for a business loan of 50 million yen, the prestigious Kame, Kamiya, oh, Kamiya family gave their daughter, Hayane, away to the Otomiya family. Hayane, now an Otomiya, is appointed to the school council of the exclusive Imperial Academy, a private school for the aristocracy. Even though Hayani is a proper lineage to be on the council, she finds herself struggling to find her place among many secrets of its elite members, especially those of the presidents who hold her heart. She's a Musa Tuga, oh, yeah, Tuga, aka the Emperor. And Hayani has been in love with Shizumasa Toga since she read the fairy tale he wrote as a child. However, the Emperor is so well. Um, sequestered see that guys it says sequestered I don't know if you guys can see that but by the student council that she hasn't been able to speak to him in three months she's been at the, at the academy and has rumor and ha as rumor has it he already has a lover yeah I totally butchered that intro but <laughs> it's not my favorite you guys I I don't know it's just like too many stories in one you know what I mean like there's too many things going on to, for there to be one direct you know story so it's I don't know it's not my favorite this one is called peachy peachy peach <laughs> uh, I have not read this yet but it's a pretty pretty much about a princess mermaid um, this is what it looks like it's super cute and it the author is Pink Hanamori. I love this kind of like artistry, guys. I love the like the old kind of school looking anime. I don't know. I love that kind of art. It's like very Sailor Moonish. I really like it. But anyways, if you guys want to check that out, go ahead. This one is one of my favorites out of all these. And it's super like heartfelt and romantic and just like oh, you guys gotta read it you have to read it and uh, it's called Millennium Snow and the author is Bisco Hattori and I'll read the intro to you guys right now here's what the cover looks like yeah and then this is the back and I'll go ahead and read it for you guys. It says, 17 year old Chiyuki Matsuka was born with her heart problems, with heart problems. And her doctor says she won't live to see the next snow. Toya is an 18 year old vampire who hates blood and refuses to make traditional partnership with a human whose life giving blood would keep them both alive for thousands of years. Chiyuki makes the most of the time she has left, even though things aren't that exciting until she be she comes across a reluctant vampire late one chilly night can chiyuki teach toya to feel passion for her life for life even as her own life is ending what do you guys think it's a good book you guys anyways that wraps it up for showing you guys my manga collection that's all i have for my manga um, comment down below which one you guys would be interested in reading and which one was your favorite out of all these books that I've showed you so far. And I'm going to like in the back wall you guys where I showed you guys my, my pictures. I'm going to add a lot more for my channel and just just make this whole wall look really pretty and put more art, art up. Um, I was actually working on a Sword Art Online kind of picture. I haven't finished it, I just barely started, but stay tuned and I'll show you guys the finished product. It'll probably be like a, like a couple hours, probably tomorrow I'll show you guys. Alright, peace out, tune in next time, bye!